Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Grace. Today's video is about why trauma nursing is not good for you. The first reason is if you think it's going to be easy. A breeze, a walk in the park. Before you even start the assignment, you're first gonna have to get all your paperwork together and get it up to date and then keep it up to date. That is something that you're not gonna be paid for. The other thing that you're gonna have to do is research. You're gonna have to research companies to see if they're good companies, if they do exactly what they say they do, if they pay their employees, if they even pick up the phone. And then when you finally get the offer, you are gonna research the area that the offer is at. What are the rules in that state? What are the taxes in that state? What are the amenities and accommodations that they have close to the facility that you're trying to work at? Some of you have preferences in your amenities. There's people who like Starbucks coffee. So you're probably gonna be looking for that in that area. All this research, and the groundwork before you even get the assignment is all unpaid for. You are going to do it only because you're trying to get the best assignment. So laziness may be the reason that travel nursing may not be a good idea for you. Because if you skip these steps, you could end up getting the worst assignment that you have ever done in your career. The second reason is if you like consistency. If you like working in the same hospital, on the same unit, and getting the same pay, trauma nursing is not a good idea for you. There is nothing consistent about trauma nursing. First off, the assignment lasts between days to weeks, maybe months, but you do not stay in the same place for long periods of time. Majority of the time, your assignments are going to be in different facilities, sometimes in different states. And sometimes you may work in every unit that they have in that facility. That's how much you could be floated. Pay also fluctuates between assignments. Every assignment is gonna have its own contract and its own pay rate. So if you like consistency, do not try travel nursing. It's not for you. The third reason is if you do not like budgeting or saving. As soon as you get the offer with a pay rate, you're gonna have to start thinking about how much they're gonna be taking out in taxes for that state. How much you're gonna be paying for food, housing, and transportation. Those are huge expenses no matter where you stay, so you have to calculate those. Because sometimes, it becomes too expensive to stay in certain areas. If you do not do this, you're probably not gonna know how much you're gonna keep in your pocket at the end of the day, because you just keep on dishing out money. And then in between assignments, you're probably gonna have some downtime where you're not working. And if you did not save anything, you're gonna be broke. So for that reason of not liking to budget or save, travel nursing may not be good for you. The fourth reason is if you like familiar things. If you like your pets, your family, your friends, your home, or your bed. Most travel assignments will require you to move to a different location from where you reside. You may have to go to a different city or state and those will be away from the things that you love. There are instances where travel nurses have mobile homes and travel with that. So in that situation, you will have your house and your bed with you. I have also worked with nurses who travel with their families. However, that comes with an expense. The amount of money allotted for accommodation and food will increase in that situation. 
The fifth reason is if you mind standing out. As a travel nurse, you're gonna stick out from the crowd. Most hospitals have their employees put on a uniform. They will have scrubs with a company logo on them. You may not have that, and so you will look different from everybody else. On some assignments, you're gonna be the only travel nurse on that unit because they only had one spot to fill and you got it. So everyone else is going to be friends or in a group because they work together. And you're gonna be the only one by yourself in your little corner. If you are not fine with situations like that, travel nursing is not for you. The sixth reason is if you hate traveling. The first part of travel nursing is traveling. You actually have to get to the site that you're gonna do the work at. So if you hate getting into cars or on planes and traveling long distances, travel nursing is not for you because that is a requirement. The seventh reason could be controversial, but it is about cooking. If you love home cooking, especially your home cooking, then travel nursing may not be a good option for you. Most travel nurses get food from restaurants, takeout, or from the vending machine. There is the option of getting a hotel room or an Airbnb with a full-size kitchen, but that comes with a price tag. So you gotta put that into your budget. Sacrifices are gonna have to be made to do any job. Nursing is no different. And if travel nursing is not an option for you, that is fine. It's not for everybody. In upcoming videos, we're gonna look at all the alternatives that nurses have for career options. If you liked this video, check out the others on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day. See you next week.